Ho, ho, ho. From a, no, do you want credit for that, though? Um, That's okay, man. You can take it. In a minute. I pretty much make all the toys anyways, and you just take credit for them. So Ho, ho, ho. From the no po, ho. What's up, y'all? It's uh, St. Nicholas and um, Eric. Is that your name? I have so many yes, of y'all. Yes, Eric Elf. Eric? Eric Elf here. You know, we're busy. We're doing the rounds right now. Um, we just came back from Detroit. Gave him a lot of gifts. Gave this one family a porch that was, they were, they've been missing a porch. It was stolen a few years ago. Yeah, I sp I've spent a lot of time on that one. I was, I was hammering away, making sure the porch could handle. Um, it was hard. It was, a, it was a family of like eight or something. Yeah, you had to match the wood. Yeah. It was like a cedar, but in the pictures it looked like oak. And, you know, you want to, you don't want something to look, you know, you can't go mid-century, you know, classic, and then the rest of the building be a, a different vibe entirely, so... I always say you guys are the backbone. You know, I get a lot of the good press. I'm on a lot of the front pages. But obviously you wouldn't be where you are without us. So. Without y'all, you and your brothers. You guys are fantastic. And you guys are uh, brothers? Uh, brothers, cousins. Um, yeah. You guys ride deep, huh? Yeah. Oh, my um, God. It's like 20 of us in a, in a room um, just hammering away, making toys for everyone. Um, but we're getting beat. By who? By um, the a Chinese, lot of, a lot of yeah, a lot of gifts come from China, and they and they also have their own elves working and stuff. So, we tried to negotiate something, but the tariffs were insane, and and there's a whole political side of this stuff people don't see. No, they um, also, all they see is like the the cookies and you know what I was sweating cookies. about. I was nervous when uh, Taylor had the jet thing, and the Why? emissions because of you as well. Well, I've got. If that's what Taylor's doing. <laughs> well, dude, you got a lot of emissions because the reindeer, right? They they produce methane. Oh, yeah. They fly, and that's a lot. And they eat a lot. But it's not cheap. There's some of my... Oh, it's my reindeer. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I have to breathe through my mouth. I'm inhaling more microplastics than a sea bass. In What are you doing? Hey. Carl. Carl. Sorry, one of my reindeer are acting up. Carl. I'm so taking this off. I can't. Oh, yeah. No, it's a, yeah. I didn't know it came off like that. I thought. Because I was wondering, because I've seen you without your beard, and I just wondered if you're, because of your magic, you can grow it as, as fast, you know, like faster than most people. But No, it's I minoxidil. It's minoxidil is really good. It's, uh, I apply it with the derma roller. Okay. Um, two, three times a week. You don't want to go too much or else it's actually like it's in, gets infection. I'm old, you know, it doesn't grow like it used to, so. Minoxidil, finasteride. I'm trying some new ex experimental stuff like uh, CMOS, stuff like that, just to keep my. I want to look youthful, you know, because I haven't found an heir to my throne because I'm thinking of mixing it up next generation. You just got to hang out with us because we're, we're, we all are youthful. All the elves are youthful. There's no really old elves. I mean, we're like hundreds of years old, but. Yeah, one sec. Sorry. I've never seen you like this. Look, Mrs. Claus. What did Mrs. Claus say? He's chewing the cable. Carl, come here. Carl. Carl, get up. Mrs. Claus, you know, she she doesn't like, you know, when we're roughhousing, the hair gets... In her face yeah. and stuff. Yeah. So I don't want to... Yeah. I don't grow facial hair, so I'm not sure, but I, I know she's complained about that. Carl! 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 Get out. Oh, he's in a mood. He's in a mood. Is he? He's in a mood. Okay, just down. Just don't. How about this, Carl? Do anything except unplug the camera. Can you work? Can we work on that? Can you train him not to? He's be young. He doesn't even know what a camera is. I bought this from like uh, Amazon for like sixty bucks. These costumes. And I'm worried about. I just inhaled so much plastic, like it's down my throat. I'm worried about. It's probably affected my DNA, like structure. It's it's ruined. I've probably made me fertile in like 30 seconds. Yeah. Re it probably rearranged just the way you think. My genetic now, now code. You're, now you're, now you're, <laughs> you're not so cheery anymore. I'm noticing your mood <laughs> changed. Oh, man. But the elves, you guys are the best. And uh, look, yeah, I said I was going to try to mix it up for the next generation. Because, you know, white, white isn't all cool anymore. The whites used to be uh, cool. Back when I was really running stuff, 
now I'm thinking to pass it to someone a lot. Uh, you know, whatever Sneeko is, that race. I, I'd like Santa to be that. Okay, just racially ambiguous. What is that? What is Sneeko? Sneeko is an enigma. What race? And I have Google, even though I'm Santa, we still use Google, is Santa. So they so they claim... Oh, Santa. wait, why did I type Santa? Sneeko, Sneeko. Sneeko, excuse me. I, I get them confused. They're so yeah, similar. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Both like influencing kids and <laughs> um he hasn't shared any details. Oh, he's one of those. Looks like he's got a little Filipino in him. Okay, ha- Filipino. Haitian. His I dad is Haitian. A, I think a little bit of black as well. Oh, a little France, Haitian. Yep, that's what I want. I think that'd be great. Um, or Haitian maybe Santa. Or maybe a woman. <laughs> Come on, there's already Mrs. Claus and she's new she doesn't do anything anyway. <laughs> Oh, like, come on, bro. What is her job? What is her job? Is to keep me satisfied. Happy. Yeah, Happy. Word, yeah. Come on. <laughs> no, uh, I do love her, though. She's great, but. No, yeah. she makes good food. She make, like she does take care of us and stuff, but. Yeah, every year she asks if she can come with us. And I say, look, I know it's hard to be away from you. It's only a few days, a few nights. A few, n- a night, Christmas night. Hours, Eve. even. And um, she loves me so much. And I say, just stay home. Keep the cookies warm. Keep the bed warm. I'll be home before you that know it. That thing warm. <sighs> okay, that was a lot. Was it? That's a lot for me to... I know that's your wife. I'm, I'm sorry. Commit to. Um, well, you got different pit vipers than me. What the hell? Did I get different ones? Well, dude, look. Um, I was going to ask, because I know you've obviously been doing this for years and been delivering presents. And I was, I was wondering, because I don't really get to go with you and stuff, but what's the biggest present you delivered? Oh, that's a good question. Um, do you know what a WMD is? No, what is that? Do you know what Iran is? We've delivered there a few times. Um, there's a few believers in there. We're not not many. In, we're not allowed in their airspace anymore. Not anymore. A few years ago, though, I don't know if you were around. They were. Um, there was a few believers in there. Now they're less and less. You know, Santa's is not so popular there. But for the for the few there, I d- delivered a weapon of, ma- of mass destruction. That's a W. Okay, and it's like a toy of some sort, kind of. Um, it's a toy for for leaders. You're still young, and I don't want you to, you know, the thing about gifts is everyone kind of a, thinks of the good stuff. Right. Okay. But they don't even good. The naughty people don't get gifts. We know that. But sometimes good people are a little bit naughty. Okay. You know, one of our most trending toys, uh, you might not know what this is, this year was a thing called a rose toy. And at first when I heard it, I was like, okay, flower. I was in the testing department for that. Freaking ears off me, man. There's like so <laughs> uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man. What really staying on. Look, I know. Th- no, at first I thought it was. I'm <laughs> crying. <laughs> at first I thought it was the little Lego, you know, the build the flowers. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. thought they dropped a rose, but. No, this one's a little different. It's a different sort of self pleasure. No, I mean, like they call it. A, it's an adult toy. That's yeah. What I mean. yeah, it's so. for the because adults. So is that what you're saying? Is that there's there's toys, but you know, not all gifts. You're basically saying not all gifts are positive gifts. Like sometimes a gift is a negative thing. Well, look, self pleasure is not negative. Okay, don't get okay. that twisted. Mr. Claus never said that. But weapons of mass destruction are is, that's associated with something negative. That's true. That one's but different. To, but to you know some world leaders, that's a w- that is a, a beautiful gift. It's what they want. Some of them wish very much. Yeah. Um, but you know, and this is one of my reindeers, Carl. He's, he's a young one. He hasn't learned to fly just yet. But we're t- we're training him. Um, he's the one who was acting a little naughty earlier when he was knocking around on the camera. <laughs> but um, yeah, some of the trending uh, problem is this year. I had to actually refuse a lot of the requests. Um, a lot of um. Kids were asking for something called an elf bar, which okay, you an you're, elf bar. You're, so is that s- you're part of the branding for that? I guess I'm not sure. So th- I want to know what it is because I don't want to be associated with something. It's well, it's a nicotine device, and it and it's the reason why we can't do it this year. Yeah, 
you're going to really be upset when you find out why we can't do it because of the uh, the tragedies going on in the Congo and the, the cobalt and stuff. Okay, cobalt. So we're kind of ceasing on a lot of the electronics in general. So are you saying that humans have to get resources like by themselves here? Like, because I know the yeah. North Pole, we just have infinite supply of everything. That's true. So maybe we should start tackling uh, making the elf bars and, and iPhones and stuff. Up in the north? Yeah, give everyone but else we a We could break dig down, down in, we try to get down in the glaciers far enough, but, you know, there is plentiful resources. Um, you know, we were trying to get down under the ice a few years ago, try to get to the fossil fuels, just so we could leverage that with, you know, near countries, and we're ta in talks with NATO about that, but, mm -hmm. um, you know, the cost in return of getting so deep and then selling the oil um, it's just not worth it at this point, but maybe in the future, I wouldn't see that being a, something impossible, especially with the new cobalt stuff. But, um, you know, I love what I do and, uh, you know, I also love it cause I get paid a lot. <laughs> yeah. How yeah. much? Cause I'm, I know like, this is like, I haven't really got a chance to like ask you and yeah. Um, like how much do you get paid? Cause I just want to know f just to compare. Um, well there's okay. The comparison is going to be a little difficult to hear. <laughs> Um, because I know, because I know, like things. I don't know. Like, like I'm, I've been doing this for a while. You got a raise this year as well, and that was good. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. No, so I'm, I'm, so I think I'm sitting at about one, one, one dollar and twenty five cents. Yeah, an hour. An so hour. how? What, so, look, it's not really important how much I make. Um, it's important how much the kids are happy around the world. Uh, that's something that's priceless. See this little silly guy. You know what I mean? Don't focus too much on that. Okay. Because I know you were saying, like, we're trying to... Because back in the day, right? That's yeah. when the holiday spirit was, was more prevalent. Yeah. Kind of the 1950s. So you're saying that my pay should be as the same as back then. To stay within the same, like, nostalgic times, you know? Like, so that... <laughs> so, uh, but I'm hearing that there's people getting paid, like, 15 an hour here. Well, of course, we go by seniority and um, some people who've just been with us for longer yeah they get paid a little more but um look i bought the yacht this year the the one i was looking at for a while oh yeah you, uh, you told me about yeah that. that one was about 150 million and that's something that's a little jarring to hear at first but you know santa claus puts up with a lot and she deserves but you bought that for some you bought that for like a kid or something? You're gonna give that to a kid? No, that's for me and uh, Miss Claus. She's all she loves. She loves to uh, just travel on the water. It's something she really likes. The quietness, because at home it's so loud with all the elves and things. So she deserves a kind of um, a place where it's really quiet, you know. Mm -hmm. And okay. and and she can fish. She loves. Uh, she's got an expensive taste in in food and things like that. So we like bringing you know shellfish of sorts. But um. Yeah. yeah, like I said, we're trying to uh, get more diverse. Um, we're hiring elves from a lot of different places in the yep. world. Um, wow, who's coughing? They're drink. They're drinking my water. I don't know what. Uh, okay, let's let them be distracted with that. It's better than the camera. Um, yeah, no. So I, I'm, you know, I'm enjoying working for you and stuff. Um, you know, there's not really much competition. You don't really have anyone else delivering presents except for, you know the makers out in China and they deliver it through this thing called Amazon. Yeah. And I think I've been hearing like Amazon, they have this guy that runs it and his name Jeff, is Jeff. Great guy. Yeah. You know him? Yeah. We go back. Cause he's bought yachts and stuff. So I would say you guys are in the same realm. Well, he connected me actually to the guy I bought uh, my front. Well, we custom made it. You don't just, you know, you don't just go and buy these things. It, okay. It's a, it's actually incredible. It's like a five year process you know, from customization to fruition, it's, it's a long thing, but, but he's under fire though. Like a, I a lot of people are, are, are angry because he gets paid so much. And then his employees or elves I, are getting paid a lot. I'm just asking, I'm not look, <laughs> accusing you or anything. Look, are a lot of people happy to get Christmas to get Amazon packages when it comes in the door? Does it fill them with cheer? Yeah. And does it make them think about, is it almost magical how quick it appears in the door? Okay. Yeah. You know, he was under my wing for six months and I was showing him just kind of how to expand in a way that you stay in control. It's a hard thing under management. Um, this great book called um, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, I read, I recommend it to him. Mm -hmm. um, it's kind of 
just essentially about how keeping wealth is in your hands. Anyway, this stuff is not important. You know, you're going to be an elf forever. You, you know, you're not going to worry about the, these things in your but lifetime. I, at some point, I can become Santa, right? You Didn't won't. Santa be, wasn't he an elf at one point? Uh, <laughs> you believe that? <laughs> Well, that's what all the other elves tell me, that if I work hard that one day, like, I'll be able to be the the leader of everyone else. I'm six foot four. You know, you can be Santa when you're six foot four, when you get there. I don't know. If you can manage that, then we'll talk. But if I work really hard? If you work really, 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 really hard, and you believe in Santa so hard, then maybe. Okay. I'm sweating in this costume. Don't take it off though, because I wear I have nothing underneath. Yeah. No, this is this is for some reason really breathable. Yours is looks and so it, nice. It fits me. Like, doesn't it fit me? No, I'm I'm definitely gonna walk in here one day when you don't know I'm coming and you're just gonna be wearing it. Yeah. And no, this is really nice. Um, I'm a little under the weather. Yes. I don't know if maybe the maybe the listeners or something can can hear that I do have a bit of a stuffed nose. I was really sick last night. Yeah, because the rain reindeer. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know what it was, well, but I got, a, I got a bad sickness. Yeah, you're very sick. You, and I mean this with a lot of love, but um, there is a trope of like, you know, the boyfriend that once he gets sick, he's like, oh, oh. Yeah. And I feel like you d- you would do that to I Mandy. I am. I am. I know I did. I was like, Mandy, you're a nurse. Like, you have to take care of me and stuff. And I was really sick. But... She was kind of doubting me. She's like, it's the same sickness I had because sh- she and gave it, it to and me. And it is. But it isn't, though, because and I was in the washroom, bent over the toilet, freaking puking my brains out. I don't know what that was. That was the rotten cookie that we ate. Well, here's why. The salmonella. How often do you eat a fruit? I eat fruits all, uh, all the time, always, with every, every meal. Mm. I'm on your wave. You told me about it. But I've been eating, like, yogurt and granola, and I put, like, frozen berries and stuff. And that's good antioxidants. But look. Last night something scary happened. What? Do Do you know who I saw? Who? The Hat Man. You didn't see the Hat Man. I did. Why were you taking Benadryl? I wasn't Benadryl. It was pure fever dream. The Hat Man. Well, all I could think of when I hear the Hat Man is that picture of uh, <coughs> Harry Styles in that photo shoot. With <laughs> the <laughs> what? You know that one? No. With the bib. Oh man, you gotta pull this one up. Me. Harry Styles is the Hat Man. He's on the naughty list. He's been on it for a few years. No, it was weird because the, the Hat Man wasn't even wearing like the classic top hat. So it wasn't Benadryl Hat Man. It was just Fever Hat Man. And like a, he, a baseball no, cap. The, no, he was wearing the New York. Yeah, the, the <laughs> New York Yankees hat. It was just a New Yorker. <laughs> and my closet is because the closet was slightly open and there was a hat up. There <laughs> oh my god! Made, like a figure, and I was like staring <coughs> at it. I was genuinely staring at it for so long that it just started morphing and like it was like moving. Why would you stare? That's yeah. I couldn't look away. You have a closet? Yeah. Over there. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. It was scary. Um, but I haven't had one of those in a really long time, so I was kind of like it was almost nostalgic in a way. Last time I had it was when I was a kid. I think it's the fine line cover, the a Benadryl s- uh, viewing. That's not it. Oh my god! He d- well, in this one, he kind of looks like the Hat Man a little bit. <laughs> he always looks like the Hat. The Hat Man was inspired by Harry Styles. That's how he was created. Harry Styles hat, funny hat picture. What's the? What is it? Come here, sit You're on. You're talking about. Are you talking about the one that's that's? You know the. Yeah, one I know. When he, t- when he has that big bulky. This hat one. Yes. Yes. If that one. That's the hat that's man. That's what I saw last night. That's look what I it saw up. last night. Look up. If you want to find the image, look up. Uh, Fine line photo. Jesus Christ. Well, actually, that's awful. scarier than what I saw last night. Oh, my God. This is ruining With the my pants mood. and everything. No, this is awful. I actually feel bad for him because um, he's, like, accepted. He's not a, a frat boy anymore, you know. He's he shaved his head, his hairline's receded. You know, a Brit can only pretend to be a a spontaneous, flamboyant pop star for so long, and then they, res- you know, he still likes a Guinness. He's still just a man, cause you're just a man. Come here, fish. Your ass is on the interface, and you're gonna. You can't s- sit on the the podcast interface, fish. Like, when are you gonna <coughs> learn? Sit on Santa's lap. Sit on Santa's lap. Be a good boy. No one ever asks pets what they want for Christmas. Come here. What do you want? What do you want, fish? Whoa. He's like twitching. That's my leg. 
My leg twitches um, a no, lot. No, when is Harry going to come out of the closet? We're still waiting on that. He's not gay. Well, Harry's not, not gay yet, but like I'm saying, like, when is he going to come out of the closet? He's not in it. I don't think so. I think he's. Uh, I think he's more than that. You can't bottle him. You know what? I was for a while getting a Larry TikToks. You know what that is? No. It's a Louis and Harry like ship. Oh yeah. Okay. And I used to be really against it. I was really mad. No, I wasn't that passionate about this topic, but I was like, this is like leave them alone. You can't just sh- You know, dream SMP kind of George. Dream not well, found. That was before that. Yeah, I know. They've it was the original. Yeah, they were the original. But then there's hella evidence, bro. Wait. What like, do you mean? Like them on going on stages and like be holding each other's pinkies like right before the camera. It's like rolls. But maybe that's just like a friendship thing. Like maybe We never like done that. that. Like mm-hmm. more than that, like just... The way they look at each other. And well, at some point, you gotta you gotta be like, do they do it on purpose? Did they do it on purpose? Whoa, I don't think it was that much of a marketable I don't thing know. back then. Back then, that's a Who bad. Who knows, dude? Exactly. The girls love them. People and stuff, and they're like, guys, can you can you continue doing what you're doing? Well, that's Dream and George not found. They did that. That was definitely marketable. Mm. Um, I clicked on George not found's YouTube channel a few days ago. He's getting like 10k views a video. Oh, how they fall, how the greats crumble. You need to get his views up. Go check it out. I, I watched him do a cooking stream with Nico Lowell. Well, that's why. Yeah, that's I why. I watched like the whole thing. 10K <laughs> views. Why are we watching George Not Found cook, man? Who let him go cook? Go back to playing Minecraft. Yeah, go back to showing us your tight little body. Is that what he used to do? I don't know. But Dream dropped a truth video recently. <laughs> Did you? How long was it? It was like two and a half hours. I watched it in its entirety. Okay, so you're going to have to tell me because I, th- I need, like, the cliff notes for it. Essentially, the gist of it is if you have to explain yourself that much that you're <laughs> not a pedophile, then holy cow, like, you, this is strange. You were making this weirder and weirder. And by the second. He yeah. tried to, like, logic brain his ass out of being a pedophile. <laughs> He's like, first of all, doesn't make sense because I don't even like little girls. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, bro, but it kept going. Like, he hired, lo- like, you remember when he cheated and he hired, like, a neurophysicist to, like, prove that he didn't cheat in Minecraft? He was, like, pulling that stuff, too, to ch- oh prove that he God. didn't. Oh, my God. Yeah, like, yeah. He's just trying to be, like, he, like, takes it to an another level. Which, like, ah, uh, it's, like, no, I don't even think he did it or anything wrong. Even though as much as I would love him to be, you know. Yeah. You know, well, but, look, um, yeah, dropping two hours worth of, of yap. To kind of explain, he you're was right. doing transcript because this is what happened. All he had to say was like, "It's like a meme to like make up, just straight up fake evidence about me being a, you know, mm-hmm. liking a groomer." Or whatever. And he's like, "I get it, I get the meme, and you know, as long as y'all know that I'm not actually that, it's all good." But he was like debunking every case and going mm-hmm. into it way back. It's scary, you know. I had a, I had that once too. You had a grooming allegation. <laughs> Way back when I had Twitter, this early freak show, just some random, all all the evidence they, all the evidence, here I go, here <laughs> I go, all the credible information that they had was the name of my high school. And all they tweeted, it was a straight anonymous account, no profile, said, um, I went to blank high school with Hamza and he was known for, I don't even remember what it was. It was like talking to like young girls, some so vague. And I saw it, and for some reason, it was getting traction. I was like, okay, whatever, I'm going to ignore this, because what? Um, and then I just tweeted something else, like dropping my merch. And all the replies were like, your, spil- your silence speaks volumes. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, huh? I was like, wait, y'all really, be- so, you know, dream, I mean, you have some things in common. <laughs> So what, so what do you, so what, yeah, what do you do in yeah, that situation? It, I think so it was so frustrating because I was like, all I tweeted was like, guys, they're like, because I tweeted, this is obviously not true. And the replies are like, believe the victim, believe the victim. And I, I tweeted again. I'm like, yes, believe the victim. There's no victim. <laughs> Where are you? So I, I was tripping out. I was really freaking out. Damn, they dreamed you, bro. Dude, they dreamed me. It wasn't a dream. It was a nightmare, man. <laughs> <laughs> it was just for a smidgen. Yeah, bro, it was a groomer for a day. <laughs> Cause I really thought it was like, okay, use some content. Like, yeah, it's literally a, an account spawned with zero tweets. 
tweeted that and then disappeared. <laughs> it was like, it, it was the hat man, that, bro. Man. It was the fat freaking hat man. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> makes me want to do that to someone, man. That's if that's all it takes. It's exhilarating. <laughs> let's I find, swear. Let's find a really small content creator and do it. <laughs> That's the thing is I get it. Like if you're just a normal person in a small town, like that's fine. Yeah. I get that. I get it, bro. Yeah. Uh, no. And 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 I. The thing is, I think what people it like people kind of grow out their dream S and P phase. They kind of look back and they're like, "Wow, dream is really cringe." Whatever. Yeah. Um, yeah. They kind of hop on that on that train. I think. And you know. And we're here to we're here to take you guys in. Are we? No. No, we're not. If you used to watch Dream S and P. Come watch us. Trust me. No groomers here. Nothing. No weirdos. No weird edits. Ah, well, there's some edits here and there, but. Well, if I can speak as Santa for a moment, look, I'm not going to die on that hill. Not back to Hamza, of course. No, I have no. Ele- Santa's, uh, Santa's a little primitive because you walk into a lot of strange situations. You know, I you know when it happened down in the chimney, I, s- I walk into crazy moments. Top 10 hu- people are awesome moments. You do, you do. Understand. Also, macadamia nut, more co- more macadamia nut, nut cookies. cookies that, yeah. Those are your favorite ones. I people forget about those the nut cookies and Dude. no almond. I hate the oats. Okay, no almond milk. Like Jesus Christ! Like I'm not trying to like. I'm eating a cookie, a dense ass cookie, and I'm eating nut milk. Like yeah, just no, I feel like. But do you think people should switch it up and instead of cookies? Maybe we provide a little bit of other desserts. Um, because I feel like cookies, you're getting kind of tired of that. We need something new. Someone once had a, 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 a like a little plate of tiramisu left, and I, I wasn't sure if it was for me, but I took a bite regardless. That was that was nice, yeah. nice refreshing. It was light. Um, but we could we could like we could even get more crazy. We can do maybe baklava. Uh, not so much. You're not a fan of it. I like it, but some people soak it in that sugar water, and Way it it, and it gets a little like heavy. Yeah, it's a little syrupy. But some here and there, yes. You know, I'm not a huge fan of pistachios. Surprisingly, a lot of people are, um, and then some people do put that in the bagel, but some don't. You know, I of course I'd like to mix it up, and I go all over the world, so I do get you know some mm-hmm. regional things, uh, but you know, basics. You know, stick by the basics, but some, some very, just the milk, the milk stuff was, you know, no chocolate, no strawberry, no, and no expired. Please make sure it's not expired. How hard is that? But other than that, no, I, I, I could see myself doing this for a while, you know? <sighs> well, you're not the one building the toys and that's something. I just want you to know that. Like you're, you're I know that. And I always mention you guys when I get the chance, but, uh, you know, every, th- every, company every sort of movement needs a face and yeah no yeah. i'd love to come on like come on a ride with you and and maybe just see how you do things and right right just in case like i if i ever get promoted and like you die or something right look let's not think about that's a that's a very dark thought i don't want to think about that right now it's a, it's it's christmas eve it's uh you know and there's a lot of prep i you know there's physical activity i do i'm on a six month Sort of uh, program here, doing keto, you know, kettlebells, stuff like that. I got to be agile, in, out, can't be seen. It's hard. Now, there's a song. Oh, well. There's a song out there. See where this is going. Go ahead. Santa came down my chimney, kiss 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 my my mom. mom. Yeah. So do you do that or do you not? Look, that's whenever I, you know, that goes back to when I said I can't speak on negating every single sort of accusation but um look all i'm gonna say is uh, it was consensual okay um she was telling me her and her husband were in the throes of some sort of uh, you know tension that could lead to divorce i didn't follow up i don't know if that went all the way through and i hope i didn't push that yeah to finalize it but uh you know i didn't see a ring on the finger she was there she, you know, made the move. You know, I try to stay professional, but, you know, I need a little pick me up during those late hours, and that's sure, what it was. But, dude, you understand that you're essentially destroying a family potentially. Yeah. And, like, could you imagine a kid waking up and his parents' divorce? Well, here's you're creating problems for yourself because when a kid has divorced parents, he ends up having. Oh, this guy's in here. <laughs> he ends up having two Christmases. Why? Oh. Oh, so my. So it's God. more work for you. Now you have to deliver it to two separate houses. 
Well, you know what? Chances of that happening are actually kind of low because children of divorce tend to be actually pretty naughty. So I actually don't. It goes okay. it go, it goes from one to zero. Chances are. The chances of a child of a divorce not being naughty, low. Low chances. Uh, and chances. And what are the chances I tell Mrs. Claus that you do this? Mrs. Claus, um, you know, we're very traditional in that it's almost expected that I might dabble. Like it's part of work or whatever. Yeah, and she she sort of understands that, and she understands that at the end of the day, I, w- I will come home to her, and she is mine, and, and what I do at work is what I do at work. I don't mix it up. I'm not catching, I'm not out here catching feelings. Um, <laughs> so yeah, that's what's important. But, uh, you know, I just want to say keep believing, guys. I feel like every year it's becoming, I'm seeing less and less people. I was talking to the Easter Bunny the other day. We were, I was on a Zoom call. We do these things every, you know, a few times a year. Easter Bunny, Jack Frost, Tooth Fairy. And we were, we were talking about what can we do to instill our ideology still with this future generation because, you know, everyone's a skeptic now. I saw... I walked into a I, I I walked into a house and this kid saw me. Yeah, this nihilistic, cynical kid. I was in front of him and he still didn't believe in me. Yeah, do you know what that and do you know what the cause of that is? It's this new thing that's going around. It's called TikTok. Mm. So people are spreading misinformation on there, saying Santa's not actually real. And that and that actually uh, was tempting me to start a TikTok, maybe start a TikTok trend, maybe TikTok marketing. Okay. But that's a field I'm not familiar with, and I need one of you guys to yeah, get on that. Uh, we can do a TikTok together. That'd I've be been good. on it, and yeah, I've been kind of spread, trying to spread your joy and on there. But people are people are saying, like, there's no way you're an elf. Like, shut up. They're all saying shut up. It, it's, when it, it's when it's right in front of their face. But you know what? That's just like, they can keep doing that. We're going to keep delivering presents. but um, And, you know, they're going to get cold then. How about that? <laughs> I just remembered the rose story. <laughs> <laughs> Rose to the joke. I'm started laughing again. Um, yeah, as long as uh, you know whatever we need to do, uh, you know I talked to uh, some some really big TikTokers, some really big ones like Noah Miller, Noah Mills. Oh, okay, and then w- and, and, and you already have his presents lined up because I don't I remember what was he supposed to get. Well, funny story about him. He's an XL. <laughs> he used to be an elf. And um, we found out about his proclivities, you know, and we have a pretty strict code here. Again, very traditional. We cut him off. Okay. Good severance package. We got him one of the best, but I was, tr- I was trying to talk to him, seeing if he could do any, some sort of soft influencing, but he's not interested. Other influencers, um, Cynthia Parker, some, some of the most influential people on the app. Um Zoe Laverne, she was g- she was good. She's been in them at yeah, the game for a while. You, I mean, yeah, and then you obviously gave them a gift of a child. Yes, talk to my my boy, the stork. Stork, is that his name? Yeah, the one that delivers a little baby. The one, day, yeah, and he set them up with a little ugly little baby, this little white devil. Hey, it He's keeps them distracted and keeps them busy. It's good, you know. That's a b- one of the best gifts. People ask me for that, and I'm like, okay. I get it. I see the letter. Send that over to my yeah, boy Stork. It's not something you do all the time. I'm not. Too, respo- like, you're not gonna. Yeah, you're not gonna be giving people babies that often. No, it's, it's well, Japan. I've been looking at. I, I, you know, they're not asking for the babies, but I, I'm looking to push. You know, the, the population of old people there is a little scary, and I'm worried about. You know, if you look at their demographics, it's an inverse mm-hmm. it's a pyramid, which means when the older generation dies out a lot of industries were actually be struggling mm, to more kid. You want more kids in Japan? Well, more kids just, so. um, just cut down on the condoms then delivering the condoms, like just try to reduce that because I think that, or any device that, that kind of helps with, right. With that. Maybe so sabotaging the, yeah, maybe, maybe poking little holes. Yeah. Do that. I like that. You, you're the, my idea guy. You're my number one elf. Really? Yep. What's my name? Chris. Close. Eric. Eric. It's like I mixed it up. Yeah, yeah. No, there's and there's so many elves. Like, it's hard to remember them all. What do you expect? No, and I get that. And obviously, I know your name. Santa. Santa. St. Nick. St. Nick. Go by many. Um, Well, what are other names I have? Sainty. Santy. But what is Mrs. Claus's name? 
Paula. Hang on, let me Google. What is Miss? And there's an R. You're going to Google it, but I already know. You don't know it. <laughs> you do not Whoa. know this. It's Gertrude. Ain't no way I married Gertrude. Oh, hell no. Nah. What? Gertrude? Gertrude? Rude? Rude? Naughty? No, she don't ever naughty. accuse that. Holly. I'm hearing some rumors of Holly as well. The hell is her first name? Maybe it doesn't have one. What do you want for Christmas, little boy? Well, pets all want the same thing. It's just like love. They all, they all, yeah, love and affection. That's you could all learn from something from them. It's not about the material things. It's about time and love. And A lot of materialistic things people are asking for at uh, Christmas, and it's kind of irking me. Um, I feel like... You know, there's toy. Yeah, but everyone can get these toys and stuff. But what happened to the good old gifts? Like, uh, I don't know, maybe some. I've been I've been doing a lot of the uh, concert tickets. Taylor Swift. They've been hard to get, but that's an experience. So that's more in the realm of Wait, what I'd like Aeros to see for Eras Tour. Eras Tour. Yeah, they're hard, hard to get. You have to be really good. You have to be on your A game for most of the year. But um. Well, how do you? Well, how did you even get them? How do you even get the Aeros Tour tickets? I'm close with Ticketmaster, and they kind of get let me get some first dibs in some places. Uh, obviously, I can't buy them all out. Are you buying them and reselling? Them? I'm not. <laughs> I'm not scalping completely, but there's some sort of maintenance cost we have to uh, fund. Dude, that's not cool, man. You're actually stopping from all everyone else getting them too. I am delivering to those who cannot afford it. Okay, and don't you question my authority. Inferior race. Dude. Sorry. You're, you're really being... You're actually... Your mood has changed. Your mood has shifted. As soon as you took off your beard. <sighs> I'm itching all over. I feel the microplast... You know, just... This is the China thing as well, dude. Oh, I they feel like I belong in this. Yours looks nice. It's like felt. I know it's nice. It's comfy. I'm gonna wear these pants. Ah, this part kind of just throws it off. <laughs> You're really showing the Belt defeat. pants though. Like, come on, we need that. It's like uh, it's like art class yeah. material. I had an art teacher that kind of dressed like this. Not like that, like, but like had felt pants. Really? Yeah. Oh my god, I had like mommy issues with my art teacher, and she was not what you think she like looked like. Like I'm talking about like 80 years old. It was very strange. Um, I was such a weird little kid, man. One time she mentioned she liked like chocolate covered fruit, like blueberries, you know, those like little yeah. bags. Yeah. She mentioned she liked those. And she's really mean as well at the same time. And then the next day I just like snuck, I brought some from home in a Ziploc bag. And I was like super quiet. I didn't say anything in class. And after class, I just like, here you go. And she's like, what are you doing? She's like, hey, you said yesterday you like you like blueberries. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to go recess. <laughs> did you give it to her? I did. And she was, she was so, like, not what I needed right, right then. I needed a full, like, I needed her to be my mom for a moment. But she was just like, oh, thanks, man. She was old, like, so old. Like, one of those teachers that was just like, you know when they're so old that they just don't care for you. Like as a teacher, every you have to have favorite classes that you have, right? Well, dude, dude like you should have you sh what you should have done, okay? Instead of just being and just giving it off to her, mm. say like you should have spoke confidently and stuff. How old were you? I'll tell you right now, fifth or sixth grade. And you're telling me you were stuttering over your words and being really shot. Come on, dude. Fifth and sixth grade, you were you not eloquent. You could have easily, if you spoke with some more confidence, she could have been like, oh my God, this is really impressive. Like, thank you so much for your gift. She was very mean. And then you guys could have rode off into the sunset. I just wanted like a hug and just be like, thank you. I didn't really get that. I was more of the guy that would just call. Um, I think it was also because like they like were, passing. wow. Mama, I would say mama. Mama. I actually think the chocolates were like melted. I went, like, I went, I went my teacher, I would go, mama. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like in... 11th grade or something my i think the chocolates were melted now that i remember like really gross they were they were also really gross um that's probably what it was and 
it's not that you were getting rejected. It's that she looked in the Ziploc bag and it was all melted. No, every teacher I, I looked at as a parent. Oh man, you could dive into that, which you will. Maybe I'll figure that one out when I when I grow I older. I don't know if I want to dive into this. Not right now. And of course, this is Santa speaking. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, but it was just uh, every time. Now that I look like, w- I don't want to think about it too much because then I see trends and I'm like, mm. I can't. What are those pit vipers? You got the pit viper? Can you get get them? Or I got the pit viper two thousand. You just have pit vipers. I don't know what's going on. Who do you what think? You I didn't get 2,000. So we got these Pit Vipers from the Iron Club premiere. Those look way better than mine. Can you put them on? Oh, my God. Those are way better. This is carrying case. What did you get? Not that. All right, put them on, you dangerous elf. Oh, my goodness. Skiing down the slopes of the North Pole. Yep, skiing, snowboarding, um, luge sometimes. What's luge? I should you know. You don't this. know what luge I is. It's, one of, it's an elf's favorite pastime. How you spell it? Luge. How you spell luge? L u g e. What? Luge. A small one or two person sled. Yep. Me and my bro. We always we always go. Y'all luge. luge? <laughs> This? Yes. yes, we luge all the time. This is what y'all are doing when you should be making toys for the many kids of the world. Well, it doesn't take all year to make them. We usually finish all our gifts in about two months. What? You didn't know that? Then the rest of the year, we're just doing like fun activities and stuff. Building snowmen, playing, making snow angels. So what do we, at the stand-up meetings, and you guys tell me what you're working on when you're just <laughs> lying? Well, dude, come on. Did you ever, I thought you weren't taking those, se- were you taking those seriously? Not dude, t- we don't, of co- you think we work all year? I'm not fully paying attention to those meetings. I'm usually a little drunk. Um, but nothing. Nothing. You're not doing anything. Well, obviously, we do some planning here and there. I told you about, like, there's, like, a testing phase for things. And I knew we shouldn't have went remote. I knew it. Oh, dude, come on. Because this kind of stuff I would catch if you dude, guys were all with me. Dude, come on. Really? You're going to be the uncool boss? You're going to be the uncool boss? Uncle. Come on, things are f- working. Uncle boss. You don't have to you don't have to fix something that isn't broken. Our system works and we get and you know and you're not paying us enough to even be complaining right now. So I don't know what you're trying to do. Look guys, you can ask Santa or Hamza and Martin any of advice questions. Something they can do. Um and you could DM the out of character pod Instagram account and right now we're going to check what you guys have to say and what what you're going through. And wh- while I look this up, just a reminder that there is a Patreon for the podcast, and it's a weekly solo with just me. Go check it out. Pop in for a month. You don't got to be there, you know, subscribe oh for you. What are you doing? My ear. Then that's what you get for not for working remote and lying to me. And also, if you're listening on Spotify or Apple Podcasts, please give it five stars. It's like two buns, and it helps us so much. And Santa will give you a good gift, and you'll be on the, and you'll be on the good list. So I've had my Invisalign in, and if you could hear it, let me know, and I will not wear it anymore. Hi, Homs and Martin. I come seeking advice. My best friend has just gotten into her first serious relationship. She was sleeping with this guy, Naughty, mm. from her college a few times until they finally went on their first and only date one week ago, where he asked her to be his girlfriend. They both went home on winter break, Christmas, and <laughs> and just last night, he told he last night her told her what over Snapchat that he is quote unquote in love with her. Keep in mind they are nineteen and twenty. When she didn't immediately rep, rep, reciprocate, it's a hard one for me. He started guilt tripping her into saying it back. Ooh, I want to be supportive because it's her first boyfriend and all, and I've never had one. <laughs> But I just don't think he's good for her and is love bombing her. He also has a breeding kink. I know that one. What? Yeah. Wait, what is that? Like breeding. Like he wants to get her pregnant? Oh, wait, wait. That's a breeding kink and keeps making jokes about getting her pregnant and won't use protection. (gasps) Should I hold my tongue or voice my opinions? Voice your opinions. Oh, my God. 
Dude with a breeding, a breeding kink? kink at Dude, 19? Dude, that's a final boss. Breeding kink love at bomber. 20? <laughs> that's like... That's like a queen bee. I'm like into an, yeah. I'm like the ants. No, you gotta, we got to keep him away from... You should. B- I ever. would just euthanize him on the spot if you have a chance. If you have there's an no opening, for, yeah, you got an opening there. No place for man like that. Um. No. Truly, what she can do is block him and um, move on to someone a bit more normal. Send her this clip that we're about to do here. Hey, Sophia just told us. Wait. Let me. Wait, let's do. Can we start from the top? I got to make sure. It's like a cameo. Sophia. Yeah, free cameo. Hey, Sophia. Focus up. Open your eyes. There are men who are not like this. In fact, there's many of them. In fact, you are with the naughtiest of them all. This guy is going to the deepest layer of hell when he dies, and hopefully it's soon. Yeah, and he's going to get so much coal in his stocking that it's going to be embarrassing. Do better. We know you can. I know it's your first rodeo, so you don't know what to look out for. So that's why we're here. This is no good. Scratch it. kink, love bombing. I mean, come on! What do you need another red flag for you to finally see? For you to finally see that some, there's something wrong with him. This guy's a villain. Good luck on that, but please voice your opinion. If you care about this person, then you will scream from the rooftops. Honest to God. Hey, Marin and Hamza, I was hoping I could get some advice from you guys. If I'm being honest, I'm someone who has a lot of self-image issues. Issues. I hate the way I look, and it's something I spend a lot of time worrying about. It has led me to an eating disorder and it makes me uncomfortable around this topic of romantic relationships because I worry it's something I'll never have. Oh, have you guys ever gone through some, anything similar? Do you have ad, do you have and advice on how to change this? Mm. Well, to front, no. Well, uh, not entirely. I, I haven't gone to an extent. Me, it's the eating too much one for me in terms of eating disorder. I used to have a binge I mean, it wasn't diagnosed, but um, you can ask anyone near me. I could put down food now. It's a uh, oh yeah, it's a side effect. We went to this Italian, Italian at this point. Went to this Italian place the other day, and you know, I'm the guy to clean up plates. Let's just say that. Um, and that, I think there's no shame in that. No. But um, look, you're a young girl, and unfortunately, with social media, this almost seems to be a rite of passage for many young girls not the way it should be but i say this to let you know that you're not alone in this and you should you know find the right people associate with who aren't talking about that you shouldn't yeah. this isn't or con- care about that stuff it's not stuff you should really talk about um it's kind of like it, it it's kind of like this look i think everyone has something that they they look at themselves and they're like wow i hate that um and until you until you stop worrying about it then then your life becomes bearable well i had acne and then mm, i stopped same. caring yes. about acne and then i was like oh my acne went away and i didn't even know it. like you know what i mean I yeah for me it was a it. situation of like well I, mean, I have the acne it's my body it's hormones like i can't really do anything do anything you know it's in, it's like life i i believe in some sort of predestination in in life so when i'm covered in acne it's like well that's what's, what's supposed to happen yeah that's what at this time in my life, that's what it is. So, you know, if you're overweight, underweight, just don't uh, worry about that. There's truly, in, in terms of romantic relationship, men and women for every single category. That's something that kids in high school are so ignorant to that. I feel like, like little kids yeah. just don't know that until you see like a couple of heavy boned fellas. Oh, or maybe a couple fellas, a fella and a woman. And they are just like bursting with love in a way you've never seen. And it's like, oh, why was I like so? St- and this is also low-key a moment of man, man smokes weed for the first time and discovers feelings. Woman has, a, has written a Tumblr post that could bring him to tears moment. But that's something that was unfortunately a late realization for me. I think it is for a lot of dudes in general, but yeah. It's like, oh. They're really, that's why in terms of the predestination thing, it's like, oh, don't worry about someone else because it's going to happen when it happens. Um, I'm going to attribute that advice to Santa because it wasn't my best, but I really wish you the best and just take, you know, treat yourself nicely. Here we go. Don't ask about university guys because we will not chime in. 
it's not uh, our it's not our expertise. You know what I you know what I read the other day. Mm. This was and this was really interesting. I read this and I forget who said it, but they're like, "Oh, if would you say the stuff that you say to yourself to another person in terms of just like how you think and stuff like that, and like about yourself, like, oh, I'm ugly, I'm this, I'm not, I'm not that. Like, would you say this to another person? Like, yeah. Well, actually, I'm gonna be a little even more open about myself. Um, when I was a very confused young boy, I read 12 Rules of, Rules of Life by Jordan Peterson. Okay. <laughs> and one of those rules actually has improved me. <laughs> it's actually helped me. What and it's it? it's that. It's treat yourself as someone you're responsible for. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I always think about that in terms of pets. You know? If your cat needs medicine, you're going to feed him that medicine on time every time. Mm. But if you need some, a little medicine, you're like, eh, eh, eh. Yeah, you have to, you have to, you have to treat yourself, you know. What Jordan Peterson said. Come exactly. on, quote it. Honestly, quote it. Quote yeah. It. Yes. Yes. Jordan Peterson. Well, I'm, I'm going to read your book now. Your 12 <laughs> rules. Don't read that. Half of it's uh, How short is it, man? 12 rules only? It, it's a big book. It, or it's, it's a book. It's a book. But yes, uh, I like what you said. That is true. I agree. Um, Here we go. Here's one more. Uh, I will be sending you guys a wooden bell I made in a wood shop in your guys' P.O. box. You just wait. Well, that would be great. P.O. box in the description. You guys can send us whatever you want. Um, Sorry, I've got this hair in my mouth. Hey, Martin and Hamza. Me, F20, female 20, and my boyfriend, male 21, have been dating for more than a year. Since the holidays are coming up, we started talking about the gifts he was going to give me. And hopefully he was asking me for that as well. Then he told me he'd want me... Never mind. Then he told me he'd want some sexual favors after I received the presents. Huh? I was saddened by what he said, but I laughed it off. Suddenly, I remembered that on on our anniversary, I gave him gifts. He couldn't give me one because he was broke and never asked for anything back. Mind you, I also paid for both of our meals. They sound like the breeder guy. (laughs) Another reason why I'm very irked about this situation is because I was previously sexually assaulted and taken advantage of, which he is very much aware of. Wow. That's all. Just wanted to know if I'm being irrational because he's my boyfriend and all. Thank you and love. Okay. So I would communicate this to him. Yeah. So when he says, I want sexual favors after you receive the presents, you should immediately straight face him. Make sure he gets the energy to never, ever say that again. That he crossed the line and that it is icky and is gross. Yeah. Or unfortunately, you have to mother some of these guys. Yeah, and especially if um if he doesn't do ish around you know your I was about to say around the house, but I don't know if they live together probably around the body as well. But in general, like yeah, like if if you feel like he's not filling the gap, filling filling up the gaps, he's not if he's not doing enough, then you don't owe him anything. That's for sure. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm sexual favors and stuff, and that's like a common thing sometimes for, but that's in healthy relationships. Yeah. You got to make sure that this is a healthy relationship before you do any of these sexual favors and stuff. If you feel like he not, he's not doing enough, then he doesn't. Well, that's that. the thing. Sexual favors in relationship is normal, but if, which is why I'm saying you need to communicate that to your trauma, that it, it, it yeah. makes you uncomfortable because he might be like, oh, let's get frisky on Christmas day. Yeah. And you got to be like, okay, I like that. But just the way you worded it, it kind of freaks me out. Yeah, it's a, it's a little bit weird. It's like, I got you this gift. Now now you have to do this. It's like, what? Gifts are supposed to be, here's a gift. <laughs> <laughs> I've, done, I've, I've done it a few times. I'm speaking of Santa. Um, but, you know, that's because I'm, I'm, I'm commander in chief. You know, I... I Command I get that, yeah. Command sometimes respect. I know I've talked to the elves and stuff, and, you know, they have to do sometimes things for you when Mrs. Claus is in a room. Whoa! Shh! Hush. Anyway, you know what that reminds me of? That clip, the blue face clip. What? There's this blue face clip. It haunts me to this day. It haunts me. Someone, I forget how it starts, 
But someone asked Blueface, like, have you ever done anything with a midget? Uh, already. Bad start. And he goes, yeah, I did. And he's trying to like, I, th- I'm, I might be screwing this up, but for the most part, this is right. And then Christian Rock is next to him. Is, am I saying this right? Christian? Christian? Christian. Christian. And her last name is Rock? Um, yep. So I think she's I think she's Dwayne the Rock's son. Da- daughter. daughter. Son. And she goes, she chimes in and says, the guy or the girl? And he gets pissed and shush and shuts her up. There's a lot of implication in this interaction. A that he has had intercourse with a midget and a guy a, mid- a girl midget. Yeah, a little person. Am I saying this wrong? I th- yeah, yeah. No, and it's all good, man. We all make Oh mistakes. That's well, not a good look. I'm supposed to spread cheer. Yeah. Well, d- dude, you're from like the n- Santa's from like the nineteen fifties. They don't know that yet. Wait, what? Uh ha- this one I'm always mixed up on. Yeah, little person. Really? I think it's I think it's little person. How to address someone with what is it dwarfism? Yeah, dwarfism. Person of short stature, little person, and a dwarf. I don't like dwarf. I also don't like person of short stature. The little person it is. I think it's a little person. Well, I'll, right now I actually want to apologize for my ignorance with, with saying and m- th- And the reason I'm saying this is because I'm also a you are an, an elf. elf and yep. Right, so. Well, anyway, my point being is the implication of that interaction is he has had intercourse with a girl little person and a boy little person, which is which they deserve as well. They deserve intercourse. Um, but it's just an image a lot of uh going on there mm. okay stupid tangent and i regret it i've offended people i've offended blue face no, if he's worry, listening I, and as long as you learn from your mistakes everything is okay i learned and i'm, I'm hot and i'm sweaty and i'm scared but um yes please be transparent with this person your boyfriend and i do wish you the best you know the things you know if it really didn't he didn't mean it maliciously then you really should uh Communicate it, but I'm not I'm not putting aside that it's icky what he did. Oh, someone sent a picture of what they're sending to um uh hello Hams and Marin. This is not advice, but I sent a package to your PO box. I was hoping you guys would unbox it on video. Unfortunately, I'm not sure if it will arrive on time for when you guys plan it it probably won't. If it will, we will. If it won't, we will try to film it and post it somewhere, but we don't know. Where would you guys like to see it if we you know, where would we post it? Um, maybe I don't TikTok? know. Maybe we do like a Patreon? part two summer Patreon. Oh, yes. Maybe I'm on Patreon. That's a good, that's a fun little thing. We'll see. We'll keep you in the know. We're dark right now. Guys, yes. can you see us? Um, yes, we're dark right now. This is your time to reflect on what you look like in the, in the, in the camera. But yes, sorry we can't get to all the advice. I'm looking at what you guys are saying. Next uh, next week we'll hit we'll hit you guys back and um, thank you for listening again solos on Patreon every week um, we gotta get we got a flight to um, the north right now we gotta catch private jet yeah and then we gotta go crazy we gotta we gotta deliver some presents I'm coming with you right uh, you'll come you'll come you know you've convinced oh, yeah. me oh, of man. your worth this ep- you know this episode well the only thing I want for Christmas is. For people to rate the podcast five stars. That's really the only thing I well, want. Well, I love that. That's why you're number one. You're my number one guy. Yeah. You're you're there for me all the time. Guys, fulfill this little guy's dream, will you? Just do it. Please. Like and subscribe. Come on.